Today we're cooking with cognac as we cook this French classic steak a poivre, which is known as pepper steak. So follow me and let's turn up the tasty. If you've been following this channel, you know that this channel is all about my meaty food journey. I'm just a curious guy who wants to answer some questions I have about cooking and preparing delicious meats. So today on our journey, we're gonna run into a master of the art, namely Julia Child. And we're gonna take a recipe out of her book, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, as we make this steak a poivre for Ricky Booby, which means Pepper steak for Ricky Bobby. I don't know, I just really like the movie. I wanted to rock the accent. I really like her for a couple reasons. Her motto was anyone can cook. And that's really what I believe. That's what this journey has been about. She attributed her longevity to red meat and gin. Now, I'm not much of a gin jink. I'm not much of a gin. I'm not much of a gin drinker I got at that time. But today we're gonna rock some cognac. You know, she has some approaches to this. This is a very popular dish, but it always starts with peppercorns. And that's just what we have right here. An array, a multitude, if you will. There has to be another word. Uh, plethora of peppercorns. God, man, I am just terrible at accents. You get them mashed up, and that's what we've already done here. Two tablespoons. The directions call for just applying this thoroughly. Now, typically, I would salt my steak prior to cooking, but that's not what she says to do. And we're gonna follow this recipe as she says to make it. I'm just gonna spank it for the hell of it, I don't know. Bad steak. Now, what she says to do next is just let it set for at least 30 minutes up to three hours. I'm going to, uh, with my clean hand, take a little sip of cognac here. Maybe I'll come back to finish this video. Maybe I won't. It depends on how much I have. All right, guys, so these have been sitting now for an hour. We need to cook these with a mixture of one and a half tablespoons oil, one and a half tablespoons butter. That's pretty common. Now, she doesn't actually say what type of oil she uses here, but I wanted to try to stay kind of true to what she might have used. And so I'm using olive oil. I think ghee would be a nice substitute if I had any. A couple other notes about this recipe. She says it's really the chef's job to sort of monitor that heat. A ripping hot pan isn't always the best for all steaks. So I'm gonna turn this up to about a medium high heat. And she says it's really the chef's job to sort of monitor that heat. Now look at all the deliciousness on the bottom of the pan. That's called fond, and that is flavor. That's one tablespoon of butter, and we're gonna get these shallots in here. Two tablespoons of those, and we're gonna let them cook and soften here for about a minute. Oh, butter, how I love thee. Let me count the ways. And again, I've been managing this heat a lot through the process, a little up, a little down, just to make sure we get it all just right. Turn this bitch up, is what she says. Dump in the beef bouillon, there we go. Dump this cognac. We're gonna let that boil off, I don't know, for about two minutes, help get some of the alcohol out of it. Remove it from the heat, and then drop this butter in here just a little bit at a time. I truly have no idea why she says to do it this way. I'm just going along with the program. Seems like a lot of butter. We put a lot of cognac in here, and when you lose all that alcohol, it's important to get a little bit of it back. Salute. And just remember, at least two drinks a day greatly reduces your chance of giving a shit. Anyway. Let's go ahead and bite in and see how they taste. Now, before I do that, I should mention you can use a filet, and maybe most people would. Use whatever fucking steak you want to cook with, right? Enough rambling, let's eat. The pepper flavor is there. It's not overpowering. I thought it would be. I mean, we put a lot of pepper on those steaks. We want to taste extremely fresh. I don't taste any of the cognac in there. If it's there, I would not know it had I not poured it in myself. I think maybe if I were gonna do something different the next time, I'd go ahead and reduce that sauce just a little bit further. Have it thicken up just a little bit. What do you guys know about steak au poivre? Should it be thicker? Should it be thinner? Did I do something wrong? If I were gonna do one thing, I might add in just a little bit more salt. I think I would have salted these steaks prior to cooking, which we've done 
in other videos. We'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Sorry, I mean, I was gonna close out the video and then I just saw the steak and I just, I just wanted another bite. But um, I think I was saying something about, um, oh yeah, if you guys like this video, you know the drill. Go ahead and hit the big thumbs up like button or even better, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the adventure as we release a new video every single week. And in closing, just want to uh, say, hey, the mind is gone, the money is lost, but the liquor we still got. Is that how it goes? No, I think it goes, the mind is lost, the money is gone, but the liquor we still got. I don't know. Salute.